Hello, we're in Revit 2016, and the following is a demonstration of how to create a walkthrough animation in a given project. I've created one here in front of me. And in the project browser, you'll notice here there is a walkthrough category and an animation here beneath it called walkthrough number one. With that view activated, I can click on this frame here and choose Edit Walkthrough and demonstrate the animation by using the Play button here. We'll do that now. So basically, this is an animation of a, of a person walking down the slope of a hillside here, uh, walking toward what is a depressed courtyard space in front of this building using these stairs located here. Upon coming down to the bottom of the stairs, uh, the animation stops in front of this furniture and looks toward the interior of this first level space. And then goes back to the beginning when you're done. I'm going to quit the walkthrough here and I'm going to go back to the uh, site plan view and take a look at how that was accomplished. Currently, I've added uh, 3D people to my site plan view. And you can see them here in 3D. If I choose a little uh, 3D command here, I can launch a 3D view. And you'll notice that I've added people at certain locations here and here and here and one inside the courtyard to allow me to determine where is uh, the appropriate height of, a, of the camera as I navigate down this landscape. So these locators here will allow me to determine where is, for example, five foot six as I walk down the, the hillside. So back in site plan view here, you can see those uh, people here from the entourage folder here and here. What I'll do is I will draw a path uh, from start to finish as if I'm walking down this hillside uh, and walking into this courtyard and then ultimately looking toward this uh, interior space on the first level. So to start that, I'd go back to the 3D command here and I'd use the walkthrough option here in the pull down menu. I choose that. And the idea is here to establish what Revit calls keyframes. Basically, these are positions in space where the camera will animate between points A, B, C, and D, and, and so on and so forth. So here at the very top of the hillside, I'm going to click a point here and begin my walkthrough. And the triangle there determines what my field of view is, basically as I look through my camera, what I can see. And the little line with the X on the end of it here is my target, what, I'm, what it is that I'm looking at. So if that's position A, this will be B here, right near my, my entourage person. Then I'll walk over to about here. And then what I'll do is I'll turn toward the building here and I'll choose another position nearest this person here. I'll then descend the stair here. So I'll pick a point here at the bottom of the stairs. I'll pick a point near my person here. And finally, I pick another point looking in toward the interiors of the building here and click. And that is my walkthrough path. Revit will want to make more, but I'm going to cancel the command because I'm finished placing my keyframes. I'm going to choose this button here called Finish Walkthrough. If I click on the background here, this option here under Modify Cameras will disappear. But then I'll begin the process of editing each of those keyframes and creating an animation that I'm happy with. This will be the end of the first part.